Right, so there's a few ways to do a thermostat. We can put it in exactly where the previous thermostat was, which is probably the easiest and the cheapest. However, if we want to hide everything away, including the receiver, the best thing to do is to actually go to the two port valve, if it's a S plan or the three port valve and wire in the receiver there. However, we're not going to do that on this occasion because, well, uh, we've gone for the cheapest. So cheapest means that we're just going to put the receiver wherever the previous thermostat or programmer was because the wires are pre-existing. Now over here, what we have is the tank with the hot water cylinder, unvented obviously, and that is controlled here. Three zone valves. So what we could do is connect everything here. However, in a, a house this large and it being in this sort of area, you'd more than likely need some sort of booster. If all the receivers were here, the downstairs probably wouldn't receive any signal it would be a bit of an issue the third thermostat is here so we'll start just by switching this off so as you can tell i've ordered three hive thermostats so this is what comes in the first box the other two boxes only come with these two this is the thermostat and this is the receiver. This is the only part that gets wired in to work along with that. This has a plug and an ethernet cable. So this is what allows you to basically control it wirelessly through your mobile phone anywhere in the world, as long as you've got an internet connection. It's got the connection for the power and the ethernet. And then at the back here, you've got a reset button to reset this. Over here, we have the receiver. As you can tell, you've got one button here. This button itself is used to help connect it to the thermostat, and it's also a manual. So for instance, you run out of battery here, or this isn't working, you've broken it. You could just press this to have it uh, work manually. At the back here is where we take off the plate. The plate itself is where you do all the wiring, as you can tell. We've also got a plate here, which we can take off just by pulling out, goes onto the wall if you wanted to. Otherwise you can get rid of this and get a stand, connect the power, then we connect the ethernet, ethernet. Then all we need to do now is find First thing I'm going to do is open it up and remove the battery. So we can see an arrow pointing here with a screwdriver. All we do with these honey wires is push that in like that and we do the other side as well and they just sort of pop out like that. This is where you probably want to take a photo of that just so you remember if you're struggling. We can see this is live. There's no neutral here, and there is an earth behind there. And as you can tell here, we've got a hidden wire. If you need an extra wire, normally there is an extra wire if they've done it right. But we've got a live wire here, which is linked to what is visible as C here. We know what this sleeved wire here at the back is. Sometimes it might be naked, because sometimes they don't have a sleeve. That is the earth. Now we need to find out what, what's going on here. So we've got the live. We can see it's got the L there. So that's this. This is indicating live. However, it's got this going along here to C, which is the link. So we're just gonna undo this. So there we go, that's out, that's out. So we can tell this was a lot bigger than the other one. So this is a lot smaller than the other one. So what we're gonna do is gonna reuse this hole as much as possible. If we look at the back of the hive, it's very similar to what we looked at earlier. 
So it's got a live and a neutral at 230 volts AC, right, going in. However, there's a separate circuit there which shows number one, number two, number three, number four. And we can see that one and two are touching, right? Um, and then three is normally closed, which means three is the switch. Okay, so three, when it's normally closed, that means something is off or not running. This little line here, when it moves to three, it switches something on. Okay, however, there's no power here because it's showing one to, to two. But it doesn't, there's no way in the diagram that actually shows one, two, three, four are getting any power. So we will need a link from live to one. Then one will bring the power down here to two, and then when it switches, it'll bring it to three. However, at the moment, there's no power here. If there was a line to live, which some thermostats do have, then you wouldn't need to put in a link. But in this case, when we look at the diagram, it shows that you do, because one to four don't get any power, unless you provide the power. We don't need to put in the earth, however we will, just to say it's in, it's safer that way. As we're looking at this, I've stripped this and I've stripped this, okay? So as we look at the old one, we can see that the only switch with the two little balls there switches between that and B, okay? So that's the only switch, but where does it switch to? It switches from C to B, okay? And that was the black wire. However, if we, if we do this now, we know this wasn't doing anything. So we make this a switch wire and we put that in three, okay? So if that goes into three, we don't have a neutral. So we need to make this a neutral, but it was disconnected. So we'll need to find this upstairs and make it a neutral. That's it, so we've decided now that that is gonna be the neutral, but we don't know where that goes upstairs into the wiring center. So we're gonna to have to open up the wiring center to see where that goes. It might not go anywhere. So we get a link, which is just one wire that we've cut to join them. We use the same color as the live, which is brown. Right, so let's head upstairs to find this gray wire, which we are going to make the neutral. This is the switch, which should already be connected upstairs. Okay, this is the live, which is fine, it's just live. So I'm currently working on the second floor, which I know is this one here. Before you start the work, you can turn on the programmer or the thermostat and get this, uh, get this going. So you can see here that we follow it along. It goes here. Okay. So we can see it's the middle one. As we come up through here, we can see it's it's this black cable here. Now we're gonna look for the brown wire that comes out of that middle one. So it's this wire, it's this cable here. So we're gonna find the brown wire that comes out of there. And I think it's this one. Yeah, so just pull out it just to confirm. There we go, so that's the brown wire. That goes to the thermostat. Okay, so you follow it along here. We can see it goes into this block. Okay, now because it goes into that block, it's joining up with something. So we follow the black wire. Where does that go? Right, so the black wire, I'm pulling on it here, and it goes around the back somewhere. I'm moving the black wire now. Okay. So there we go, we can see that gray cable at the back. It looks like it's got earth as well, which they have joined up actually. So it's got earth, it's got black, which I'm pulling here. That's the one we've put into number three. So this is it, this is number three. Okay, and then we've got the brown wire, which is gonna be the live. We don't need to worry about that. 
and then we've got a grey wire that's just hidden underneath it which hopefully I can just yep there we go so as we come along that's the grey wire so we're going to make this neutral now so now we know that for all of them these are going to be the neutrals so I might as well do all the neutrals now and then that will be it and then all I have to do is switch um, is it sorry just put these on number three so it looks like all of these are for each zone valve so they put them separately in that like this so all I'm gonna do now is connect these in to an already very full right what I might do is I might use some Wagos actually just like that So that's all done. They're similar to Wagos, but a bit cheaper. You can get them from Screwfix, um, really great. All you do is open up the clip, same as Wagos. Put that in there, pull the clip down, and it just locks into place. I'm trying to do it one-handed. I should probably use my right hand actually, so I'll use my right hand. And yeah, just push that in there, get it in, and then just close it. That is in there now. And then just do the rest. So we've got this grey wire here. That's going to go in there. Just like that. Close that. Yeah, that's in there. And then I'll do the other one. That's going to go in there. And then just close that. Give it a little pull, give it a little pull. That seems fine. But then now with this wire that's just loose, I'm just gonna loosen up this bit of the neutrals and just go in there like that. So it makes it much easier than trying to fit another three wires in this hive, right? <laughs> so yeah, there we go. I can close that one, it's just gonna be blank. So I've got all the gray wires, we can see that I've done the same thing for all of them. So if we come along, let's say for instance, this one here, which is here, we find the brown wire, which is there. Follow that along, boom, there's the black. Then we pull out the black here and we find which cable it goes to. It goes to this gray wire here. And if we move that about, we can see which one it goes to. So we know this wire has the same grey wire as this one, which goes into there. That is ram packed. And obviously what we don't want to do is mess up anything by, you know, sort of skimming the insulation off of one of these with the screw. Right, so that is in there. I mean, that is filled to the brim. You can even see the pressure. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why people use these small boxes, you could, you could get something bigger, but anyway. So, this is quite low because it's, it was built for disabilities. I'm going to leave this on, but just to show you, they probably do need to paint. However, it's covered up all the holes. And that's what it looks like. So it's not too shabby. They're gonna be using their phones, so accessing this is really not that important. So now you'll see it move a lot quicker, so all we have to do is that. Take that off, and then we're just gonna quickly get in there. Take this off. Take this off, so we already know what's going on here right we don't really need to figure it out at all and this is how quick you'll be doing it eventually but obviously i had to take my time recording so there we go pull that out pull that out and then i'm just going to get that in there get that in there right we're going to put this on here just like that Lovely. 
we know this is going to be the neutral we know this is going to be the live we know this is going to be the earth so it's going to be earth live link three and neutral so yeah i'm just going to unscrew that slightly get that in there tighten that up that's gonna go in there just like that now we're gonna reuse the old link that was in the other one that's gonna go there All right and that's gonna go there now I'm holding it with one hand so it's a bit more difficult than what you lot would be able to do it but yeah this is how quick it would be over recording and sort of explaining it to you it does take a while so let's push that in there a bit more so that is that just make sure everything's nice and tight so yeah that's all done this can now go on those two up.